Well, hello! Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, and we don't have any birthdays today. Nobody let me know. No anniversaries. So, no songs. Sorry. Um, today, Jim and I spent a good portion of the day working on our puzzle. We've come quite quite far. Uh, since Jim sees that I'm determined, and I really have really kind of opened up the puzzle, gotten it go getting it going, and now he has an interest in it. So we sat there for probably, oh, I would have to say three, four hours today doing that. And then uh, he said that uh, I had to go to the Kroger's to pick up a couple things. And he says, oh, I'll go with you. I didn't do a grocery haul because it was like ridiculous how much stuff I got. <laughs> it was like, oh my gosh. Um, our bill came to $175. But... Um, Anyway, but anyway, here's how far we've come on the puzzle. I'm going to show you because I'm really proud of how much progress we've been making. Okay, now that we're making progress, Jim is back interested in the puzzle. <laughs> but we started to do the Christmas tree. And pretty much got Santa done. A couple of things we got to get on him still. And then we got our cars done and that over there. So all in all, I think we're making progress, and we figured out how to fix our border, so our border is all perfect now, which does make it a little easier to get the pieces together. Well, we got the border fixed, so that really helps us out getting the edges going, and uh, it's just uh, some of the pieces, when we get them in, it's like, oh my gosh, it goes there, and then some of the pieces fit, but then they're not the right pieces. It's just the way the puzzle was cut. But we had fun doing it. So then we went there, and then we went to the, um, after we went to Kroger's, we went to the post office, and I got mail. And it's a postcard. Look at the pretty, the pretty, pretty, pretty. I take my glasses off to read. It says, Hi, Sandy, I wanted to send you a little piece of New Zealand culture with this card so you feel a connection to the journey, which is life in all its ebbs and flows. I wanted to send a hug across the miles in what better way than the ocean waves. I love the sound and smell of waves crashing into the land. Oh, I love the smell, the, the sound and smell of waves crashing into the sand when st storms approach. I have always wanted to find a message in a bottle pertaining to a long time ago. I can imagine a new dawn where the earth is washed anew and families are reunited once more. That is my prayer for you and your family today. Be safe, your my friend, over the be safe your friend over the oceans, Suzanne. Sorry about that, Suzanne. You know when I had my cataract surgery I had the choice of getting rid of my glasses completely or taking them off to read. Uh, I've been wearing glasses since I was nine years old and uh so I just, um, nobody would know what I look like. And I, I would rather, like when Jim and I go somewhere and he'll say, well, I can't read that because I don't have my, I don't have my glasses. Like yesterday with the uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken having a problem because he couldn't read the receipt. But, um, so I would rather just take my glasses off. But I'm, I'm getting a, like a fogginess over my, my one good eye. Uh, I have a floater. And I get them every once in a while and they, they decide to float by for like a week or two and then all of a sudden they just disappear so I'm just I'm like day five of this floater that's driving me crazy so it makes things seeing a little difficult at times but I'm not driving anywhere or anything like that but Suzanne I love this card I am like you I love the sound of the waves uh, when we go up to the cottage that we rent up in Lexington I sleep with the door open because we have a cottage on the beach and I just love to hear the waves just hitting them. But I'm not one for a sound machine. I know you can get it like a sound machine that has the sounds of the waves and things like that. Eh, I like the real deal. And then when I go up there, I always wake up just before the sun comes up so I can sit and watch the sun come up. And then I go back to bed. It's just like a, a new day, like you said, a new beginning. But what we used to do when we went to the cottage is uh, we did it a couple times. I'm sure my kids have no memory of it. But uh, one of us would get there a little bit ahead of time and we would throw a bottle with a message out into the water like we knew it would float in. And then we'd always say, well, I wonder if there were any pirates out there and threw a message in a bottle. And then they'd run and they'd see a bottle. They were all excited. Don't want to crush their dreams, but we got down there a little bit earlier and just put the bottle there. 
but it was always nice. I always think that wouldn't it be kind of cool? I always think that, oh my gosh, the one time I saw on the news where somebody had fallen off a cruise ship and then they treaded water for hours until they realized that they weren't on the ship anymore and then somebody found them. What would you do? Oh my gosh, you're in the middle of the ocean and nobody's going to see you because you're like a little tiny little speck in the water and some people on a boat aren't going to see you. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Would you give up right away or would you be panicking? You can't definitely swim to shore. You would have to hope that somebody would realize that you were gone, but oh my god, that'd have to be the worst feeling ever. Oh, I just couldn't imagine. But, and then we went over to CVS, went through the drive through and got uh, our prescriptions. And then we came back and worked on the puzzle again. <laughs> so, um, but I did really well. Oh, I forgot to bring my my menu thing in. Just one minute, let me go get it. See, I told you I'd only be a minute. I was less than a minute. <laughs> Anyway, um, I saw that one um, meme on Facebook this morning that said to, um, it's so easy, like, you know, like you can work out for an hour, but then it's the other 20, 23 hours. Oh, that was me yesterday. I had a full 20, well, not a full 24 hours because I slept for seven of them. <laughs> but I had a good 17 hours of just wanting to eat all day long. You know, it was like quite a challenge but I did really well today I really did because I really got engrossed in the puzzle and like I said we went to the store maybe that's why I spent more money because I owed I not I owed I ate I hadn't eaten because I didn't eat my first meal till like three o'clock because I just got like I said busy but anyway my, my told you my goal is to be between 12 and 1500 calories um, I had just for my breakfast and lunch before I went to Taco Bell yesterday I had 900 calories, <laughs> so we know I went way over my 1,500 calories yesterday. I should have tracked it, I know that, but I didn't. I just didn't. No excuses. Just didn't want. To, just didn't feel like doing it. Just didn't want reality slapping me in the face because that's what it would have done, and I just wasn't ready for it, so didn't do it. But today for breakfast, I had my hard-boiled egg. I had my cup of berries. I am measuring them out now because I'm trying to cut back a little bit on them. I had a half of my lunch. Uh, Thomas is everything but the bagel, bagel, but only half of it. And I have one tablespoon of peanut butter, which I did measure out, and I leveled it off. Whereas before, I would scoop it out, and then if it was a little heaping, that was okay. <laughs> not, not thinking that, you know, it's still calories, but no, I leveled it off. And then I had uh, four slices of my center cut bacon. So my breakfast was 10 points, and it was 516 calories. And then by lunchtime, which really wasn't lunchtime because I ate my breakfast at 3 o'clock, or probably about 4.35 o'clock, uh, I just had an ounce of cheese. I had some um, Colby Jack cheese, and I had uh, um, one of my, you know, like my big Michigan cup. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's a big cup. Um, it pro it holds probably two cups at least, if not three cups of tea. It's a really big cup. Um, I had a cup of tea, and that was 70 calories for the cheese, and then four points. And then for dinner, I had a slice of pizza that I had in the freezer that I had taken out. It was just one slice. And it was 13, 313 calories, but I had an apple with it, and then I had the Starbucks uh, tea for five. I figured it at five calories because I have like a 16 ounce glass of that. So for my dinner was 439 calories, and then the pizza I counted as 10 points. It was just a thin slice cheese and pepperoni, just one slice, but um, it just shows you it, it adds up. So I ended up the day with 24 points and 1,025 calories. Uh, it's about 200 less than I want to have each day, because uh, I told you I'm going between 12 and 1500. But um, I really don't have a problem with going a little bit under today since I was so so far over yesterday. And I think that you just have to, like like I said, I know I did bad yesterday. Not that I did bad. Well, I I made poor choices, but um, that's just what I do, and I, I especially do it just before Lent. I don't know psychologically what what what's the point of that but and um, I know a few of you are worried <clears throat> that I'm not going to eat enough trust me I learned my lesson last year it was a scary scary moment didn't like waking up to see that I was laying on the floor uh, didn't like seeing that the 911 had to be called <laughs> uh, didn't like any of that and uh, I don't want to do that again been there done that not going to do that again <laughs> so uh, I will be eating uh, the right amount of food, the right amount of calories. I just won't be having 
my little snacks that I've been sneaking in, like my extra pretzels and things like that. I'm just, I'm going to be better with, with my choices as far as my snacks. But um, I, I'm tired of, I think some of my problem is I compare myself to other people's journeys. And I think that, uh, you know, well, you know, they can do it. How come I can't do it? And then, then I kind of feel kind of defeated because I'm thinking, but you know, everybody's different. Everybody has a different body type. Everybody's body reacts to different types of foods in different ways. Uh, I have a friend that we could have gone to Taco Bell and she could have got like the number five, number six, and number seven meal, ate it all, and that gained a pound. Um, I can get the number six meal and gain like three pounds overnight. <laughs> so, and just eating one meal. So, um, it, it's the way your body metabolism is. And so you need to not compare yourself to how other people are doing. Other people could be younger and that's why they're doing, they're doing better. Um, I, I do think a lot of my problem is I eat the same foods all the time. I realize that, but they're the foods I love. And it's, uh, I, I try, I really do try to change it up, but um, I, I'm just a creature of habit, I guess. And it's, and, and I know that if I change it up a little bit more, it would, it probably would be better. So I, I might be doing that for Lent, changing up my eating habits a little bit, but uh, we'll see. So anyway, that's going to do it for tonight. I hope everybody's staying safe. It's going to be really cold next week. I, uh, oh, you know, I was going to tell you that this morning, um, my brother, we're not allowed to call my brother Michael after 8 o'clock because he's in bed at 8 o'clock. So I had to set the rule that you don't call my house before 9 o'clock because he gets up like at 6 because he goes to bed at 8. So uh, 5 after 9, there's my phone ringing. It was my brother Michael. And we're getting my uh, niece a housewarming gift and he wanted to drop the money off because my niece bought a house. And so he's, I says, oh, okay, well, so when are you going to, when are you coming by? And he says, oh, not till later on. He says, I got stuff to do around the house here. And I says, oh, okay, that sounds good. So I went back, got back in bed because <laughs> I wasn't ready to get up. And so I just was falling back to sleep and then my phone binged. And uh, it was my daughter texting me about something. So then I answered her and I rolled back over to go back to sleep. And then the phone rang again. And it was Denise, and Denise said, well, i got to go get something, you know, are you, do you have the money? And I said, yeah, Mike dropped it off. Well, I'm going to come get the money. And I said, okay, so I got up again. So at that point, I thought, just get up, Sandy, just get up. So I'd like to, like, I, like I go to bed about 2 o'clock, 2, 2.30. I think I went to bed at 2.45 last night. And then I usually wake up around 8.30, 9 o'clock, but then I lay in bed, play games on my phone, read my Google things, read my Wall Street Journal, all of that crap. I read all of that stuff. And then I don't really roll out of bed till 10.30, but I, I really do think that once I can get back walking, I'll be a little bit more right into this again because uh, I, I need I need that to start my day off, to get me on the right track. I just do. And, and you know, like, I have walked over, got, not walked, I drove over to Lowe's and walked up and down in Lowe's and that, but I don't like being out in the stores. I, I stay home as much as I can. And I know I'm probably being over paranoid, but you know what, I'd rather be over paranoid and alive than just, you know, willy-nilly and go out and then get sick. But, so, anyway, now it really is the end. So, like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.